what's going on? How's everybody been? Thanks for coming back to the channel. Appreciate it. Hold on, let me get that. That's kind of on fire. So we'll put that out. All right, cool. Um, so first things first. As you can tell by the thumbnail, yesterday we received a delivery from the folks over at American Boo Hurt in Arizona. Matt and friends. Um, so I already have a Crescent Axe from them. Uh, it's great. All right, so I ordered a, a couple other things. And they came in yesterday, so let's take a look at them. That'll be the first thing we do. And then I got some other stuff I'm going to get off my chest. Mostly good. Positive stuff. Um... So yeah, just been working a lot lately. I had people ask if I was going to do another video or when I was going to do another video. <coughs> I started a new job. Uh, I'm not going to say where just because this is YouTube and I don't necessarily want to represent the company uh, on my channel. And, you know, if I say anything controversial one of these days, I don't want it to bite me in the butt. But if you actually know me, uh, call me or text me and or, you know shoot me a message and I'll happily tell you where I'm working, but it's super busy there. Um, so, uh, that's what I've been doing. But the cool thing is, uh, it's early hours, so I'm out by like 4, 30, 5 o'clock every day. So that's cool. But, been busy, but I'm back, I'm fine. Those people who asked uh, if I'm good, I'm good. And uh, so, let's get into the cool stuff. One second. Up first, a super, okay, really, a super sweet dueling glaive. Going to be putting this to use here uh, early next year. More on that uh, later, but. It's great. It's awesome. It's got the Knights of Wakanda like Thundercat thing cut out. I love it. Uh, I've also have this on the Crescent Axe too. Uh, so yeah, it's awesome. It's really great. Super smooth welds. Shouldn't have any issue at all ever with any authenticity. The weight is decent. You know what I mean? It's not. It's not super light. Um, but it's still, I mean, it's still lightweight. It's it's a glaive. So, um, I haven't weighed it. Uh, I'll probably wait until I haft it. And then weigh the whole thing. Because that's how they do it at tournaments. So, that's how I usually do it. Just to make sure I don't run into any trouble. But, awesome craftsmanship. As usual. And, yeah. I'm looking pretty forward to putting this on a stick. And hitting somebody with it. In the name of athletics. Um, but yeah. It's really good. I like it. Uh, I'm excited to get it hafted. Uh, there's really nothing much else I can say about it. Um, if you like one and you want one. Contact American Boo Hurt. And ask for the Dueling Glaive. It's a good one. It's the best one I, I've seen. Um, as far as um, fabrication, the way it's all connected, um, obviously it was two pieces, but I mean the way it's connected, you'd have to you know, like it's really well done. So, glaive, American boot hurt, awesome. Uh, can't wait to whack people with it. That's the first thing. Normally. Normally, any kind of polearm thing would be the highlight of my show, right? Like that would be that would be my my my, my go to thing. Um, those of you who know me know how much I really love polearm, um, but there's there's something even cooler, guys. There's something even cooler. Wait till I show you this shit. And no, I'm not the first one with one. I think there's like. 
There's a few out there now. Um, I see them in pictures. I've seen a buddy of mine make good use with one uh, in actual fighting. Um, otherwise, uh, I've seen a few guys that own them. I can't really say I, 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 I remember uh, how many people I've seen competing with them. But the buddy of mine that I do know that has competed with it did quite well and loves it. And I haven't competed with mine yet. But I love it. Watch this thing. Guys. Would you look at this thing? So. Kate, this is not going to fit in the screen. There. There, it's good as, that's probably as good as I can do. Hold on. It's good as good as, good as I can do. And you're still missing, like, a fistful of handle. Let's talk about this. This thing is fantastic. I, 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 the, the way it feels, uh, I've done some mock swings with it. Haven't had a chance to take it out to the Pell yet. Um, we actually, I was going to take it out to the Pell last night, but we had a huge windstorm here in Vegas. It like made the air quality literally, scientifically as bad as it could be. Uh, Five hundred is the worst air quality rating you could have, and that's what we had yesterday. So when you've got allergies and asthma, that's not the day you go outside and you do your Pell work. So I didn't get the swing on it today, and today after work, I'm doing this. But soon I will be hitting something with this, and hopefully soon I'll be hitting someone with this. Because people make cooler sounds than tires. And uh, this, now, I, you could say it's up for debate. My buddy calls it a carcass splitter. The people who made it, and because I'm a butcher and I love it, call it a hog splitter. Whatever you call it, it is 1,000%. Bad ass. And when I tell you this thing feels like it, it, it's durable, look at the tang. Like look at look at the tang. It, it slightly tapers and gets thinner. But still, look at that tang. That is legit, dude. I feel like calling this handle material isn't really fair because really this this isn't a sword and it's not an axe. It's literally like a giant cleaver, which is a knife, uh, you know, a kind of a knife, right? So like I, these are knife scales as far as I'm concerned, which is what you would make knife handles out of, and they are freaking awesome. They're textured. Um. You can see one, two, three, four, four nice brass rivets in there. Again, big fan of craft, craftsmanship. Um, says a lot about a manufacturer when they take time to make something pretty that they know for a fact you're going to beat up. Um, it, it's just an integrity thing. Uh, I appreciate that about American Boot Hurt. I also appreciate that about uh, Wesley St. John stuff. If you guys have. Uh, ever seen any seen me talk about any stuff I've gotten from him uh, but yeah those th those two they put a lot of time and craftsmanship and artistry into something that they know for a fact you're about to bang up and I this thing feels so deadly it's the only way to put it like to hold it with both hands this thing feels like, uh, I mean, honestly, it, it's it's unbelievable. Uh, I was excited to order it. I was excited when they started making them. Um, I was excited to order mine. I was excited when it arrived. And, yeah, the excitement hasn't stopped. I can't wait to fucking bang this off somebody's head. Uh, the only thing I probably will do, and this isn't anything against them, it's just because uh, I is not the tallest. So, 
I swing up a lot, and I have to reach a lot, and because the power is generated by pulling down on that bottom hand, if you're reaching and pulling, my hand has a tendency to want to slide off things. So, there's no, like, palm swell or anything on there, which is, you know, historical, right? Like, I think uh, a few... Um, historical documents I've seen featuring these, uh, which if you don't know much about our sport is something you have to have. You have to be able to prove it existed in the time period. You can't just be out there with like a fantasy weapon. Um, and you know, the handles are like this. So uh, it's nothing against them. It's not a slide against them. I'm probably just going to take a good half roll of hockey tape and just make something just a little bit, just a little, just to catch. Um, I do that with everything. Uh, I put some kind of pommel or palm swell or whatever you want to call it on, on pretty much everything. <coughs> um, <clears throat> so, yeah, American Boo Hurt. And, they'll, and they send you a sticker. Can't leave out the sticker. And candy. So, do it for, do it for the candy. One more time. One more time, guys. Look at this. Look at this thing. Look at that. Look at that, guys. We are going to bang that on somebody. Oh. I'm so excited. I'm so excited about this. So, Dueling Glaive, Hog Splitter. Fantastic. Uh, let's see. What do we got here? We're at 12 minutes. So thank you again to American Boo Hurt, everybody there. Uh, anybody who had anything to do with that, especially Matt, of course. Um, fantastic. Um, I might do a hafting video. Uh, there's a lot of hafting videos out there, and everybody's got a different way of doing it, and well, you know my opinion on universal advice, so if you don't, go ahead and watch that video. Uh, <laughs> uh, so I'm not going to tell you that the way I do is the best way. I just know that I've never hit hit anybody with something that I have to the way I, I have things, and it hasn't broken. That's all I can really say. Uh, I don't hit the hardest, but I definitely don't hit the lightest, and I definitely use, I do a lot of blocking, you know. So sounds weird but a lot of people just block with their heads <laughs> so I put the halves the halves of my weapon weapons through a lot so and they hold up so if that's something that interests you check that video out that video will be coming here soon um, I was gonna half that on some Brazilian walnut but uh, I got this one guy here he's just doing what he wants but um, I'll probably make it to make it more accessible for people so that you can see, like, you know, not everybody get their hands on ePay readily, uh, especially with the prices of everything now. So I might do it on Hickory or Ash just to show uh, that, A, those are also great. You just have to reinforce them. And because uh, everybody can get their hands on Hickory and Ash. So that's probably the most helpful way to do it. Uh, let's see. Uh, let's see. Oh, uh, so in the coming year, there are a couple of tournaments that are pretty big, um, just coming right out of the gate. Uh, you've got the IMCF qualifier being hosted by uh, Boo Hurt Obama and the rest of the AMCF at Nashville. Um, in January, shout out to Cyrus. Um, so that's in January, and then in February, as always, uh, as always, it's been like three or four years, but it seems like it's been around forever because it just keeps getting bigger and better. I haven't been, uh, I think uh, I've only been to two. So oh, there's a carnage, Carolina carnage in February, usually Super Bowl weekend. 
Uh, but there's only so many Saturdays to go around, so you gotta do what you gotta do. Um, so, likelihood of me attending both, not high. Um, but I'm definitely trying to get a Knights of Wakanda squad together for Nashville. I think um, the significance of that on multiple fronts would be fantastic. Um, so, yeah, look for that. I'm still trying to pull that together. It's just about there. Uh, but to have the Knights of Wakanda fight um, as a team in a tournament of that magnitude would say a lot. Uh, hopefully our performance would say even more. Um, but yeah, that, that, that would mean a lot to me and a lot to a, a lot, a lot to a lot of people, a lot to a lot. Uh, so we're going to try and make that happen. Uh, as far as locally, we still got the school coming, uh, you know, had to move some things back, shuffle some things around, but it's still coming. Uh, it's going to happen, uh, instead of October, it'll probably happen closer to the end of November. Um... I'm not the kind of person that does sh take shortcuts with things if I can avoid it. So I want to do things right. And, you know, when they're in place, I want them to be in place and not be something I have to uh, worry about. Uh, so, like I said, starting the new job and everything, obviously, that takes time. Uh, I want to say time away from things, right? Because you need money to do things, right? So... Going to work is part of the school, too, as far as I'm concerned, because without one, there's never going to be the other. Uh, let's see. That's about it. Uh, I was going to get into a couple other topics, but I'll probably save that for another video. This is already getting a little lengthy. So um, thanks for tuning back in. Look for Knights of Wakanda to be coming possibly, hopefully, hopefully, to Nashville in January. Uh Den of Werewolves, the local team. I'm still pulling that together, too. Uh, recruiting's going pretty well right now, and I imagine once the school opens, it should, it should uh, hopefully be a very inviting and welcoming environment for other people that would like to perhaps get involved. Uh, the school's coming. Uh, you know, I got to throw at least one little fundraiser promo into the video, so at the end of the video, you'll see the... The t-shirts, we still have t-shirts, we still have a few beer koozies left, and uh, we still have some stickers. So, uh, feel free to contact me, there'll be different ways, they'll all be posted, you'll see them all. Uh, you, can, you can drop a comment here, uh, Instagram, um, Boo Hurt Butcher, Instagram, Entree de Bliscoe, um, and by the way, Entree de Bliscoe, you know, People think it's like the craziest thing to say, but it just means Den of Werewolves. It's just French. It's actually from 13th century French fantasy literature. Uh, if you get a chance, check it out. But that's where that name comes from. I get asked that a lot. Um, even in the age of the Google, I get asked that a lot. Um, so, yeah. Still, ha still have all the stuff happening. More stuff happening. I own one of these things now and a sweet new glaive that hopefully I can... Uh, Ring off a few bodies. And, uh, yeah. Until next time. Thanks for coming to the channel. And, uh, stay tuned. A whole bunch of stuff coming. Uh, I'm going to put another video out. Like I said, I'll do a hafting video. And I'll do a video covering a couple topics in the sport and the community. Um, that have just been on my mind recently. So, thanks. Thanks. <laughs>